Hello everybody, welcome again to your channel Echo Engineering. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you a simple strategy based on RSI and uh, I showed you how we can maximize the profit uh, which can be gained from this strategy by using complete optimization module in Strategy Tester of MetaTrader 5. Uh, I showed you how this strategy works and in this video, as I uh, promised, I show you how I wrote the code and in the description of this video, I will leave you the link to MQL5 account where you can find the code for this expert advisor and the expert advisor file itself too. Uh, I leave you the link to the previous video. So if you have not seen the, this, the descriptions of this code, I will suggest you to watch the video that we recorded before. And then we can continue with this video and I show you how the code is written. First of all, in the tools, click on the Meta Code Language Editor. So the Meta Editor will be open. This is the code, RSA Strategy. How it is written, it's very important to notice. First, we should define this include trade backslash trade.mqh because we are using the trading, uh, the, the C trade class and use sharp include trade.positioninfo because we are using C position info position. Actually, this C position info is a class too. This uh, object now has the class of C position info and trading has the class of C trade uh, too. Now, then we define the inputs. The first input is integer and it is RSI upper limit. It is equal to 70. It's just initial value whenever you're using optimization. Then we change these initial values. And for low limit, it's 30, the initial value, RSI period, initial value is 40. <clears throat> and uh, then the input for RSI for uh, risk to reward is 2. And then I define an enum. The name of this enum is time frame, and its initial value is period H1, which means the one hour time frame. Then I define these three variables, double take profit, double stop loss, double stop loss points. So stop loss point is 100. Then lot size, then risk person, one person. What is risk person? I want to risk 1% of my balance for each trade that I open. It means when I open an order with the lot size, I do it based on the calculation. And when it hit the stop loss, I would always lose less than 1% of my balance. Then I define this variable trade, trade is allowed and the initial value is true. Then a Boolean name is buy. Whenever I open a trade, which is buy, this is buy is true. Whenever I open a sell order, this is buy is false. It means when is buy is false, it means it is a sell order. So in the void antique, we have the body of the code. But before using this body of the code, I have some functions here, which normally you don't have them and I'm using them for myself. It's very important to have them. You can use them too, because it makes everything very easy for you. For example, in MQ5, it's not as easy as MQ4 to calculate RSI. You need to use this area and these buffers, all of them. But I just simplified it by writing this uh, function. And whenever you use this function, it would be very simple and very similar to MQL4 to use RSI. And I will show you how it works. It is working. But first, you need to copy and paste it in the bottom of your code to be able to use it. Then, moving average calculator. This is again moving average calculator. By, this, by using this function, I tried to make it simple and very similar to MQL4 to calculate moving averages. And then here we have optimum lot size. This is a function again written by myself to calculate the optimum lot size. And then is new candle. This is another function. It will be true 
at the it will be only true once at the beginning of the candle for example if you are in the in the one hour time frame when the new candle starts this function return true once it's very important and it's very useful and then another function to close all open order you should add them all of them all of these functions below your code because in the main code i'm using it so at the at the first line i am defining ask and bit if you remember uh, in mq4 we just use ask and bit but here we don't have them we cannot use them to see the ask we should use symbol info double symbol name and symbol ask for bit this one too and then i define two rsi rsi1 and rsi2 what does it mean here rsi0 would be corresponding to the first candle rsi1 would be corresponding to the second candle and rsi2 would be corresponding to the third candle it very it is very important i'm not using the rsi0 for the this strategy let me just add rsi uh, relative straight index so because if i use this rsi and i want to check whether it uh, cross over from the uh, upper limit it may cross and again come back again cross again come back cross come back because the because the price will fluctuate around these values so i don't want to use do the calculation based on the first candle because the price is not set yet but for the uh, second and third candle they are already closed and their rsi would not change so i do the calculation for rsi based on the second and the third candle it means when the second candle when this candle is below 17 excuse me when the third candle is below 70 and the second candle is above 70 it means we crossed over 70 and vice versa for the lower limit if the third candle is higher than the lower limit and the second candle is below the lower limit it mean it means we crossed over the low limit so here again is the code this i calculate for both of these rsis and this if i say if is candle in this time frame is new candle is true then is trade is allowed is true it means i want to trade to have only one trade per candle it's very important here restrict our code to do one trade per candle because at the beginning of the candle it says that the trading is allowed and when we open a trade it change it to false and it stays false until the next candle then i say if position total is equal to zero there is no open position and trade is allowed then go and check two ifs two different ifs the first if is for buy and the second if is for sell and if rsi value the second rsi is lower than the upper limit and the first rsi is higher than the up limit upper limit it means that we cross over the upper limit and <clears throat> i do the calculation for stop loss take profit lot size the lot size is very important because i'm using the function that i defined by myself here this function you can use it for your strategies too what does it work this function the first uh, attribute of this function is symbol and then the entry point which is ask and then the stop loss and then risk percent the entry point the stop loss and how much money i want to risk if from ask the price continue to stop loss and hit the stop loss i want to risk one percent of my balance and then i'm using the c trade class to open a trade 
if you don't know how it is working, I leave you the link to the video, to its video here. Uh, and I buy, uh, send a buy order. And then I say is buy is equal. It means a buy order is opened. The, pre, the last op order which was open is buy order. And then flat, uh, trade is allowed equal to false. Why I use it? Because I don't want to open more than one trade per candle. So now it is false and it says false at, to the end of the candle, which here it would be true again. Then here for selling, I say if, if RSI2 is over the is higher than uh, lower limit, I should write equal here too. If it's higher than the lower limit and RSI1 is lower than lower limit, is below the lower limit, it means we cross the lower limit and we try to open a sell. Stop loss is bid plus stop loss point. Take profit is bid minus risk to reward. Multiply stop loss point. Lot size is again, the calculation is done here. And then again, we are we were using trading that sell by using C trade class to open a sell order. And I say is buy is false. It means the last order was sell and trade is allowed is false. This is the whole code. If you don't know how it is working, I highly recommend you to watch the video, which is the full course for MQL language, MQL4 language here, uh, and learn it because both MQL4 and MQL5 are based on C++ and the basics are completely the same completely the same the difference is only in the details which we open orders for example uh, and i leave you the video for the specific videos regarding mql5 here too you can watch all of them i also leave you the link to my mql5 uh, account to see this code there and you can download this expert advisor there too and but please remember I wrote this code only for educational purposes and it is not tested in the real world uh, and I highly recommend you to first test it before using it in, on your real account. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.